Hello students, I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to General Mathematics Grade 11. Our next lesson is all about finding the asymptotes of rational functions. Ano nga bang isang asymptote? Malaman natin yan in this lesson. So, finding the vertical asymptote of a rational function. So, basically, there are three types of asymptotes to be tackled here. It is, these are the vertical asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, and the, the oblique asymptote. Let's start with the vertical asymptote. An asymptote is a line that a curve approaches as it heads toward infinity. Isa siyang imaginary line na ang ating curve, ang graph ng ating rational function ay uh, slowly approaches pero never niyang uh, natatouch. Okay? The curve may actually cross over the asymptote. So, may uh, curve, may, may asymptote tayo na pwedeng uh, i-cross ni uh, graph. So, that is the horizontal asymptote. Asymptotes can either be vertical or horizontal or oblique. The vertical asymptote of a rational function is the vertical line x is equal to a that the graph approaches but never crosses. The graph will approach the asymptote very closely but will not touch it because the function is undefined at that value. So from the term undefined, I guess uh, may idea na kayo on how to uh, obtain the vertical asymptote. Kailan ba nagiging undefined ang isang rational function? Kapag zero yung uh, denominator niya. So to determine the vertical asymptote of a rational function, find the zeros of the denominator that are not zeros of the numerator. So in short, uh, ang vertical asymptote ay yung uh, value ni value or values ni uh, denominator uh, yung values ni x in the denominator that will make it equal to zero okay value or values kasi possible na uh, hindi lang isa yung vertical asymptote let's proceed to the second uh, type of asymptote which is the horizontal asymptote the horizontal asymptote of a rational function is the horizontal line y is equal to b that the graph approaches and can actually be crossed. Pwede siyang, pwedeng ano, uh, ma-cross ni uh, graph yung asymptote na ito. To find the horizontal asymptote of a rational function, we observe the degrees of its numerator and the denominator. Para mahanap yung horizontal asymptote daw, we focus our attention first sa uh, degree or yung highest exponent ni numerator at ni denominator. Okay? So here are the steps in finding the horizontal asymptote. Let n be the degree of the numerator and m be the degree of the denominator. If n is less than m, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. Kapag mas maliit daw yung degree ni numerator kesa kay denominator, yung horizontal asymptote ay yung line y is equal to 0. If equal naman sila, if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of that of, of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to a all over b, where a is the leading coefficient of the numerator and b is the leading coefficient of the denominator. So, ano yung leading coefficient? Yun yung uh, numerical coefficient nung leading term. Yung number na uh, katabi nung uh, term na may pinaka mataas na exponent. Okay? So, that is the leading term. The leading coefficient. If n is greater than m, kapag mas malaki daw yung exponent ni numerator kesa kay denominator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. Okay, so bear this in mind. The last type of uh, the asymptote, we have the oblique asymptote. So oblique asymptote occurs when the numerator 
of f of x has a degree that is 1 higher than the degree of denominator. So, mayroon daw oblique asymptote ang isang function kapag yung degree ni numerator ay mas mataas ng isa kesa kay denominator. Like for example, kung ang degree ni numerator ay 2 at ang degree ni denominator ay 1, since mas mataas ng isa yung degree ni numerator as compared kay degree ni uh, denominator, ibig sabihin mayroon siyang oblique asymptote. Okay? To obtain the oblique asymptote, simply divide the numerator by the denominator by either using long division or the synthetic division. The oblique asymptote is the quotient, ignoring the remainder. Kapag nakuha mo yung quotient, yun yung oblique asymptote agad. Huwag mo nang pansinin yung remainder. Okay? We have an important note here. The factors that are cancelled when a rational function is reduced represent holes in the graph of f of x. Bear that in mind. Examples. Find all asymptotes of the graph of each rational function. For the solution, watch this video. So in this example, we find all the asymptotes available for the following functions. The first one, we have f of x is equal to 1 all over x plus 1. So let's identify first the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote here is the uh, value of the denominator the value of x in the denominator that makes it equal to zero that makes the function undefined so uh, we use the denominator equate that to zero then solve for x solve for it okay solving for it transposing positive one it will be become negative one therefore this is the the vertical asymptote for the horizontal asymptote since uh, the degree of the numerator is zero the degree of the denominator is one since uh, the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, we have our horizontal asymptote. Our horizontal asymptote is automatically be y is equal to 0. So, syempre, since meron siyang horizontal asymptote, uh, wala ng oblique asymptote. Kasi kung may mayroong horizontal asymptote walang oblique asymptote kapag may oblique asymptote walang horizontal asymptote bear that in mind okay second example f of x is equal to 4 x all over 2 x plus 1 our vertical asymptote here uh, we bring down the denominator to x plus 1 equate that to 0 then solve for the value of x so 2x is equal to, from positive 1, it will become negative 1. Divide both sides by 2, so we have x is equal to negative 1 half. This is our vertical asymptote. So for our horizontal asymptote, since yung degree ni numerator ay 1, degree ni denominator ay 1, magkapareho sila ng degree, we follow the second condition. Okay? So, kapag ganyan yung nangyari, we consider the numerical coefficients of the leading terms in the numerator and then the denominator. So, we consider this one and we consider this one. So, we have y is equal to 4 all over 2. So, y is equal to 2. This is the horizontal asymptote. Again, walang oblique asymptote kasi mayroong horizontal asymptote. For our vertical asymptote for the third item, we consider the denominator. So, we uh, ibababa natin yan, it will be 0, then solve for x. So, transposing negative 1, it becomes positive 1. This is the vertical asymptote. So, if, is there a horizontal asymptote in the third example? Wala. Kasi, as you can see, uh, ito yung third condition ng steps in finding the horizontal asymptote. Kapag mas malaki yung degree ni numerator kesa kay denominator, wala siyang horizontal asymptote. So, there is no horizontal asymptote. So, since wala siyang horizontal asymptote, mayroon naman siyang oblique asymptote. So, how do we obtain the oblique asymptote? Oblique asymptote, OBA, oblique asymptote. So, we divide 
the numerator using the denominator. So we have we use the long long method x minus one. Uh, x squared divided by x minus 1 is x, x divided by x times x minus 1 is x squared, then x, x times negative 1 is negative x, so negative positive cancel. And I want to I see x. So uh, x divided by x minus 1, we have negative 1 or positive 1. Uh, 1 times x is x. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, negative positive, we cancel that in the E1, I1. So again, in identifying the oblique or the slant asymptote, kapag nakuha mo na yung quotient, you disregard the, we disregard the remainder. So therefore, our ob, uh, oblique asymptote is this one, x plus 1. Fourth example, so we try to factor this out first. So factors of the numerator is x minus 3 and x minus 1. Factors of the denominator are x minus 4 and x minus 1. So as you can see, uh, may magkapareho. So we have our reduced function is x minus 3 all over x minus 4. So therefore, our vertical asymptote ay isa lang. We have x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 4. And take note, since kabilang pa rin ito sa uh, factor ng denominator na kapag substitute natin yung 1, magiging undefined siya, magkakaroon tayo ng hole. Okay? We have hole at x is equal to positive 1. Okay? And then, our horizontal asymptote since magkapareho silang dalawa ng uh, degree, it follows the, sec the second condition. We consider the numerical coefficients of the leading terms. Okay? So, we have y is equal to 1 all over 1 or y is equal to 1. This is the horizontal asymptote. Understood? For the activity, do activity 9 on page 31. Submission of all outputs will be on Friday.